You're being attacked. Is it Nilfgaard? Oh, it's just a bear. Come on, guys. Dude, just walk it off. Maybe we put some beast oil on. Oh, I didn't see. These aren't like. Oh, they are magic bears. Not magic, but. Hmm. Very interesting. Lugos the madman. Oh, that guy. Oh, man. Did he let bears in here? I guess he want. You want to know why they call me madman? I keep bears in my pants. And believe me, ladies, that's not a metaphor for anything. I literally just have a bunch of wild bears in my pants. Hey, can we get out of my way? Dude, it like tases enemies? <laughs> Dude, that's amazing! <laughs> Ow. But, um, yeah, concerning Resident Evil 7, I've seen a little bit of it. My biggest problem is I want to play it in VR. And the biggest problem with that is I have no VR. Um, and it's probably going to be some time until I decide to get it, because one game, in my opinion, isn't worth spending all of that money. And I haven't really seen any other VR titles that I'm really impressed with. That's fair, you did tell me that alternate yard art is pretty awesome. And it is. It doesn't do much damage right now, although it's unblockable and it tases enemies. Oh good, people live. Great. Hey, look! 15 experience, way more than fist fighting. See, look, I told you that guy was fine. That's not a good look. Yeah, I've seen Elite Dangerous, and I'm just... Give some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son, too. You insult me, Lugos. And now you threaten my son. That stepped on his... Dad, come here! Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog! Calm down! Calm down! Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. He's fine, he's just napping. You don't really need blood to live. Right? Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. My guess is Yennefer. Just throwing that out there. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. 
I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Yeah. Someone the healer hand the fallen over to their families. No, it's not going to be Yennefer, but I'm going to guess magic was somehow involved. Just saying. I blame Lucky. Ever see anything like that? Bears that are no, magically delicious. I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing. Well, when a mommy bear and a daddy bear love each other very much. A massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. The Deluminati? We'll avenge them, I promise. This is all alcohol's fault. I think we should we should petition to have all the alcohol removed from the island. It should be given to a select few, like Geralt, for safekeeping. Know who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. To be fair, Digital, Maybe it happens to me all the time. I when I drink too much... Bears. Duh bears. Fang marks. Claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. I'm gonna guess blunt force trauma followed by uh, hemorrhaging blood. Well, actually, he doesn't really have any blood around him. Yeah, let's just go with a. Uh, let's say he got jacked by a bear. Let's go with that. All right. What do we have here? A bear and bread. Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. What? Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. This is the Bears druid's like doing. honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. Is this gonna be like... Oh no, it's gonna be druids. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. <laughs> I like... <coughs> Best investigation. Hmm. Commissioner Chicken, who do you think it was? Well, I see a bread. Or I see a bear lying here next to this loaf of bread. It was the bread maker. Get him. Book him. Wear bears. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. To be fair, I wouldn't call him half man, half bear. I would probably call him 90% bear, 10% human. Human tongue. Uh, actually, let's go with 99% bear. I mean, we don't really know how his internal organs are, or anything like that. But just... Making judgments of the book by its cover. Let's go 99% bear, 1% human. Shit, no more than a kid. Well, no more than a corpse now. Man, bear pig! Ah! All the horns are empty. Well, yeah. They're not known for holding liquid when you throw them to the ground. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stingrim, maybe? No, I've seen worse. Come on, you've identified corpses from, like, the charred remains. Oh, at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. 99% <laughs> uh, bear, 1% human. Pretty sure it's a Russian. I think that's actually yeah, a compliment. Bears took him by 
by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Well, at least he went out drinking. Uh, another man bear pig. Can't examine it. That's fine. Drogadar. Skull's played his last. It was the cheese wheel. Uh, the cheese wheel did it. Got here. Oh, he bleeding. So many wounds. No wonder he all born bled to death. Dude, he's not dead. He's just sleeping. Earthy sent from the bear's maw. Something towards. See, the it's the druid. It's empty. The sense in the air, coming from somewhere else in this room. Round up the druids. Dan the bread maker. Ooh, look. Is this lootable? Aha! Someone took the time to refill the lootable containers. Very good. You people know how to motivate me on a case. I think this was caused by global warming. I'm going to be honest with you all. I know we don't usually get into politics, but uh, I think this was caused by global warming. It caused the, uh, the man bears to, uh, to seek warmer climates, like inside of a mead hall during a feast. Just saying. Um, there we go. Behind the door. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And oh, I see that, Flondi. Yes and, and no. Sir, I still think it was man. the bread maker. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers. Skulls named for warriors who change... Well, you need to change that digital. Battle. Stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. I think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Your might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Herbs. Don't pronounce the age, woman. I don't care who you are. Don't do it. I bet she says whip when she says cool whip. Okay, not them. All right, that's fine. Freya, our mother, may the sea swallow the traitors. Freya, our lady, mind if I interrupt? Yes. Our man bear lives. Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, give me the warning. Uh, I didn't take it with me. Mind if I go back up there and get it? Oh, never mind. I did get it. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrome. Mardrome related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrome were set to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. It's part of his training, Slim. Vesemir has an entire lecture series on how to be rude and interject into every conversation. Because clearly everything is about witchers. Zeres wasn't lying. You know your fun guy. He's a fun I guy. Do. Especially those which affect the mind. Soothe it. Summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways. Initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. Won't I kill He's you? He's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Okay. Mardrum. Never heard of it. We have another name for it on the continent. Silas Hayim. All right. Hasn't seen it to suit pain. Odalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions. Right. Ah! Yes. The last thing Udalrek needed more of. Thanks for your help. 